recording Hi. is on good evening uh, good evening ma'am how, how are you i'm good how are you <laughs> same here i am also doing well okay so where are you from i am from guwahati city and you are from kolkata kolkata okay so before we go ahead uh, let's discuss one little thing that what is success to you what do you uh, mean by success okay so when it comes to define success uh, from my point of view success is something that when we want to achieve something we make some goals for achieving those goals and if we achieve them we feel success a uh, successful person but at the same time i would like to add here is that uh, even after achieving those things that we cherish we desired but still we feel sometimes that we are not happy there may be uh, many reasons for that so i think uh, success i feel success only when uh, that i feel uh, happy and uh, my mind is very peaceful one that i don't have anything to worry about then only i feel that i am a successful person okay so do you uh, like consider or compare success with the money that you have or no not really no it is uh, there is no denying of the fact that money is a very necessary thing for our uh, maintaining our life but uh, there is certain amount which is enough for us and if i get that one and i am happy it is not that i am uh, running after money that i have now this much money i want more it is not I I don't believe in those things. I just need yeah, a minimum amount of money is required, particularly for our health, maintaining our health, and for uh, education purpose. These two things I give paramount importance. So if I can fulfill these things, uh, the with the money that I have, it is enough for me. Uh, tell me, like, do you feel that uh? success makes someone permanently happy is it possible that no it's a temporary thing no nobody can be permanently happy unless and until he wants to be happy actually happiness depends on that particular person how he sees the thing around him as yes. uh, we know that there is an example half glass uh, a glass is half full somebody say it is yes. half full somebody will say it is Half empty. Half empty. So Absolutely. the perception that we have it depends upon that. Uh, that's why it varies person to person. Uh, how they think it's successful. How they. So do you think failure is the first step to success? Yeah, because uh, failure uh, gives us uh, this. Uh, I mean, we have so many things to learn from our failures, and yes. that gives us a step. to go for the next step so it uh, it uh, from failure we should learn we should not be uh, think that okay uh, i have attempted and i failed we should not leave it there yes why we have failed we have to think about that so how can we okay. improve on that that so we can say there's a say called failures are the stepping stones of success yeah that is there you know there is Failure a famous saying hmm. failures are the stepping stones of success yes okay yes. so without failure you can't have success definitely not yeah right so uh, and also what do you have to say you know tell about people who are extremely vocal or who are extremely open about their uh, ideas are you someone like that like is it easy for you to talk to people extrovert are you an extrovert or you are an introvert uh i think nowadays uh, maybe i can say myself as ambivert so neither okay. uh, <laughs> uh-huh. uh neither introvert nor extrovert earlier uh, yeah say say uh, 10 uh, 10 15 years back yeah i was a kind of introvert person but 
Okay. Gajula have changed. So, I have started speaking with the people. Why like did you change? With the people. What made you because, change? Ah, now this question: Why? What made me change? So hmm. when I see the people uh, can mix up with other people very easily, and they can sp uh, speak their mind. So I could not do this, but I used to see them, and I felt that if I could do like them i yeah. because it so happen na sometimes i have something to say but i cannot tell the uh, person or the people the same thing so i don't get the benefit that i would have got had i told them right. those things so right. for those uh, i always lag behind from other people so then you i feel uh, sex i mean uh, it's not helping you like your work is not getting done and that's why you decided yes. to start speaking yeah yeah uh, for a particular moment if i said these things to that person i would have got that opportunity so uh, what do you think uh, which kind of people can be more successful introverts or extroverts i think uh, extrovert because uh, whatever they need they can speak it very easily and they can get it and if you don't uh, speak out whatever you need others should not know so if if the people don't know what you want they are not going to tell uh, give you those things so you will not get the thing right right absolutely so uh, if you get an opportunity what would you what was the one thing you would ch go back and change in your past when it comes to your career okay so in this case i definitely like to change what happened that i was not a very good student i i did not like to study but mm -hmm. now when i look back then i think that if i studied hard i could have reached a certain uh, place or position now i think yeah i could have right. done that but because i was not very eager in my study so i lost all those things okay so probably if you get an opportunity you would uh, become a better student yes i will spend most of my times in studying okay. <laughs> because now i feel that now i feel right yeah. uh, i like to study actually yes absolutely so that makes you very very uh, uh, you know like that gives you motivation right now right what did not yeah. what you did not like earlier becomes your uh, way of motivating yourself correct i think that time we don't understand the seriousness of the situation yes right? exactly we feel yeah. it's a fine it's big deal but then eventually when life teaches us lessons we realize that okay it was not actually fine hello yeah yeah i am listening to you yeah yeah your video was off suddenly that's why now okay oh, see, oh, see. okay so now it's okay so suddenly it becomes like oh my god i should have done this earlier i should have done this this way that way and especially when your friends are doing way better than you that time it feels that oh you know he to did never studied suddenly see what position he is in you know yeah. <laughs> that happens right so what motivated you to uh, you know start learning again yes because uh, when there is some people gathered okay like my colleagues so there are some uh, who are very intelligent and they started very hard in their prime time so yeah. now they have acquired a kind of knowledge so when there is a gathering and this confabulation going on so what i feel that the subject that is they are talking about i am not very much familiar with the subject i don't know about those uh, details yeah. so i feel very inferior to them because i did not study at that time now so yeah. uh, subhash how long have you been in guwahati it has been more than let me think uh, it is 6 37 almost 37 years going to be in wow. november oh my god so you practically spent your life in guwahati yes yes, yes. so uh, like are you basically from guwahati or no yeah no i am not from guwahati uh, i am from the state of assam itself but it, the place that i was born and brought up it was 500 kilometers away from this place 
So when I got a job here, I came, and now I have settled here. Okay. So what is the one good thing and one bad thing about Guwahati? Good thing, yeah. Good thing is that the it's a peaceful place to live in. Okay. There is no, I mean, you know, most of the places. What happens nowadays, particularly on religious lines, the people are divided. On caste basis, also people <coughs> yes. are divided. These things yes. are not happening here, and everybody is living a peaceful life. Mm -hmm. And bad thing, how? What would be the bad thing? Like something mm, Goati can improve on. I think one thing. Again, it uh, relates to our people. Mm. We should be very uh, sensitive people because government is doing a hard, um, great effort to clean, uh, to maintain cleanliness in our city. But what the people do, they are very careless and they they spit anywhere they feel like after taking this. Uh, gutka or something, this taints right. <laughs> we can see all over the. That's I think so, that's the problem of India, not Guwahati in particular. Really, it's very disheartening when we see <coughs> new things are coming up and they are spitting on them. Dirtying, yeah, the dirty yeah. those things. Absolutely, it becomes so. You just don't like it. Right? Yeah. All right, so it was a great discussion, Subhash, that we did. Now there are certain uh, errors in your speech, so yeah. of course there's a lot of mother tongue influence in your in your speech. I'm sure a lot of trainers must have told yeah, you that. Yeah. So yeah, I don't yeah. want to repeat the whole mother tongue influence thing, <laughs> but it's definitely there. So just yeah. focus a little more on getting a neutral speech and not getting influenced by your mother tongue. Okay, that's mm -hmm. first. Uh, you are speaking well. Uh, you are trying to articulate your thoughts and then speak. That's great. Continue doing that. Also, try and use different different words every time you're trying to convey the same thing. Yeah, okay. I'm repeating so, the word. Yes, you're repeating words a lot. So kind of use different vocabulary. That will come through a lot of reading practice. That's mm -hmm. most important. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, again, reading in your mind will not help. Read loudly. Even if it's five yeah. sentences every day, but read them mm -hmm. loudly. So that your fluency, your speech, your accuracy, your coherence, everything will improve and you will learn new words as well. All right. Yeah. Now, there were certain errors in your speech, like I told you. I have written those down while you were speaking. Now, we will look at what you spoke and how we can correct your speech. Okay. Okay. You give me a chance, then I will try to correct it. Oh, I have written it down. I'll show you. And that's, Whatever you no, I know. Spoke, I have written it down. See. This is these are the f uh, six places where you made a mistake. Now we will okay. correct it. Okay. So you see, we feel successful person. Now, feeling People. a person is no. That word will not come. You will say either you can say we feel successful, or you can say that we can become a successful person. You can't feel a person like that. Doesn't work. We feel oh, successful person. Okay, 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 okay. We feel mm -hmm. you feel successful, that's all. Or you can okay. become a successful person. Okay. Yes, yes, now so mind right. is very peaceful, one is wrong. Mind is very peaceful. One is not needed. Okay. Okay, mind is very peaceful. That's all. Peaceful. Failure mm -hmm. gives us a step. No. Failure is a step. It doesn't give us any step. Right. It's not giving mm -hmm. you a step. It is a step in itself. Now speak mm -hmm. it very easily. Speak about it. You said now if someone wants to like introvert, extrovert that conversation. So yes, speak about yes, something yes. that they want very easily. Now I was really? not eager in studies, wrong. I was not interested enough, you can say. Interested in uh, okay. In studies. Hmm. Okay. Or okay. I did not enjoy studying a lot okay 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 and we don't say peoples we say no people. no people yeah okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah if it's yeah, one yeah. it's person if it's more than one it's people okay yeah. but we don't yes, say yeah. people in fact if it's more than one you can also say persons if you want but okay. peoples is wrong 
Yeah. Okay. No, actually, I know this. I mean, the last yes. one, the yes. people's. Uh, happens. But, well, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. While talking, it happens. Yes. So I just yes. wanted to highlight these mistakes that yes. you made. So I, I want to I ask you one thing, uh, yes. particularly about that one, MTI. So how can I get over? Uh, I mean, correct it, MTI. See, MTI, you can't completely remove it from your speech, but you can reduce it to the lowest extent. And the only okay. way to reduce it to the lowest extent is listen to pronunciations on YouTube and try and speak yourself. Record your okay. own voice. Suppose okay. it's a word. Record your own voice on your phone and listen mm -hmm. to the pronunciation and then compare mm -hmm. where is it going wrong where is the tone coming wrong and then you know go word by word and eventually it's going to work out okay. all right okay so yeah. so it was a great session i hope you understood whatever we discussed today yes yes it was a nice uh, session i enjoyed it thank you yeah, thank you very much thank you all right have a great day good night bye good night bye good night good night